I was just going about my day and I see the shocking announcement. Hulk is getting his nipple twisted by the Ancient One. Wait, no, that's not it. It's the fact that Robert Downey Jr. has returned to the MCU, but not as our favourite genius billionaire, playboy and philanthropist, but instead the impending doom for the Avengers. Say that again? But everyone was obviously confused by this return, not only because they expected someone like Killian Murphy to play him, but also because RDJ is our favourite billionaire metal man. But the MCU already has the answers hidden deep within old MCU movies. Now this is just a theory and theory can only take you so far so you have been warned. Now there is one big question that remains after finding out that Doom is the next big bad and that is what happens to Kang now? And the answer to that might be given in the comics, kind of. So in the Secret Wars comic book run, the Beyonders use Molecule Man as a sort of multiversal new in hopes of destroying the multiverse. This leads to incursions and Secret Wars happening. However, in the MCU, if they were to introduce yet another villain without setting him up over multiple movies, it may confuse the audience. So instead, what if Doom takes a role of the Beyonders, and Kang takes the role of the Molecule Man, and Avengers Doomsday will begin with a scene of Doom destroying the Council of Kangs, and a scene similar to that of Loki's death in Infinity War. This would show that Doom is an insane threat, not just to our reality or the MCU, but also to the multiverse. And if you don't subscribe, you're also a massive threat to the multiverse, so subscribe, do it, right now. But this still doesn't answer the question of why does Doom have the same face as Tony Stark, and there are three possibly different answers to this. The first one is very simple, and that is people can look alike in the multiverse, but they don't need to be the same person. For example, Chris Evans plays both Captain America and Johnny Storm, so this isn't anything new to us. But for someone who's played a beloved hero to become a menacing villain, Marvel must be cooking something. There is also the possibility that this Doom is a version of Doom similar to that of the infamous Iron Man storyline, where we see Doom become Iron Man, and people don't really like this, so they attack him, but he's actually a changed man, so he's a good guy. Tony Stark is also the Sorcerer Supreme, but it turns out that Mephisto was the one behind everything and Doom eventually beats Mephisto. Now I will be honest, this won't be what Doomsday is about since Doom is the good guy in the story, but I have a more interesting theory. Do you remember at the start of the video I said that the MCU does have evidence for RDJ to become Doom? Well this is the one of many lines that I am talking about. I see a suit of armor around the world. Tony Stark's entire arc in the Infinity Saga is to protect the planet and the ones he cares about from the impending doom, no pun intended, which we later find out to be Thanos. Now what if this doom is also a variant of Tony Stark, but he goes down a much darker path whilst trying to create a suit of armour around the world, and this leads to the destruction of his universe. However, he survives and manages to escape to another universe, most likely the one of the Fantastic Four in their upcoming movie, and him bringing this destruction of the previous universe had earned him the name Doctor Doom. So under the mask, it's still Tony Stark. New mask, same task. And he probably lives out majority of his life as Iron Man, but one small decision led to the destruction of his universe. A lot like how 838 Doctor Strange decides to beat Thanos by dreamwalking into another version of himself. However, after having destroyed one universe, he believes that to truly put a suit of armor around the multiverse, it must be destroyed and instead replaced with a singular planet or place which he can rule to ensure that no threats will emerge to the ones he cares about, also known as Battleworld, which would perfectly lead into Secret Wars. But do comment below your thoughts on how you think Doom will be introduced to the MCU and subscribe whilst you're there.